Hi, this is Ammon with Ventures Truck Parts. Uh, we're rebuilding an axle here. We've got a Ford Dana 60 front, a kingpin style. And we thought it would be a good idea to show everybody the individual parts that we sell in our kingpin rebuild kits. And then after we show you the individual parts, we'll show you how they're installed uh, in the axle housing. Okay, so on the table we have our kingpin rebuild kit. On this side we have all of the parts for the lower kingpin. And on this side we have all the parts for the upper kingpin. So now let me go through, uh, we're going to start with the lower and we'll go through these individual parts and then we'll go through the parts for the upper and kind of explain and show you what the individual parts are. Okay, so let's start uh, with the first thing that you'd remove. So this is the lower kingpin here. This is the lower kingpin cap. So on the bottom of your knuckle there will be four bolts that you'll take off. And once you've removed those then you can remove the lower kingpin. This lower kingpin uh, holds your lower bearing here. That fits on the stem there in the housing. And then this race and cup are driven into the bottom of your axle housing in the inner C. And we'll show you how those fit inside the housing. And then this is your uh, seal. And this seals off against the lower kingpin and keeps contaminants from getting into this lower bearing. So those are the parts that are included in our kit for the lower kingpin. Now let's move over to the upper kingpin. Okay, so the first thing that you'll remove on the upper is going to be your upper kingpin cap. So similar to the lower kingpin we talked about before, there's going to be the four bolts. After you remove those four bolts, underneath this kingpin cap inside, you'll have your spring, and this keeps tension on your upper kingpin bushing. So if we were to put these in order, you'd have your kingpin cap and then your spring. Then you have your spring retainer. Then you have your upper kingpin bushing. So if you, were ha if you had this installed in your housing, it would sit just like that. And then threaded into the uh, C on your housing is going to be the upper kingpin itself. And this bushing has a tapered uh, spot inside the bushing that fits uh, and mates with the tapered uh, here on the upper kingpin. So then after the upper kingpin you have your upper kingpin seal and that seals off against your upper kingpin here. If you look at this kingpin you can see there's a flat surface here that this seals off against. Then after you've got everything done and you're ready to bolt it back together you have your upper kingpin gasket and that fits on the upper kingpin just like that. So now that we've got uh, our individual parts uh, gone through and we've explained what the individual parts in the listing or in the kits are, uh, let's go ahead and try and get some of these installed in the housing so you can see how we do it. 